okay so today we are doing oil change on 2011 Kia Soul and it's mostly the same procedure for 2010 to 2013 Kia Soul so the things that you're going to need for this is a very basic job and the things you need so you're going to need a floor jack a pair of jack stands need the oil pan for your waste stage okay then you need the engine oil obviously need the new oil filter some rags funnel to pour in the new oil 17 millimeter wrench to remove the drain plug a pair of oil filter wrench or pliers to remove your old oil filter 17 millimeter socket and ratchet to tighten back your drain plug or you can just use this wrench to tighten it up but in order to remove it if it's too tight you might need the 17 millimeter socket and ratchet and then for your safety we need a pair of gloves a pair of safety glasses and then you might need this type of wrench if your old oil filter does not remove with this one and it's too tight you might need this to take it out and you might need the extension for that and it's always good to use a new gasket when you do your oil change you throw the old gasket away from your drain plug and put a new one and I always keep an extra pair of uh, drain plug in case if the old one is like chewed up or is rusted then I just put a new one so with that let's start make sure your vehicle is jacked up and secure with the pair of jack stands and make sure your emergency brake is pulled up secure your rear tires with pair of wheel chalk on both sides so your vehicle does not have a possibility to roll backwards or roll forward locate your drain plug and remove it using a 17 millimeter socket or a 17 millimeter wrench locate the air filter and removing with the air filter pliers sure there is no gasket left in the oil pan after your oil is completely draining and your drain plug is removed make sure there is no gasket in there make sure your gasket did came out with your drain plug because the last thing you want to do you don't want to double gasket this okay so make sure it's clean no gasket left okay so it looks good same thing with your uh, oil filter make sure that the area there is no no uh, no gasket came out of your oil filter and left there so this looks clean too so now we can we are ready to put our new filter back in and we're ready to put our drain plug back in cover the new filter on the top with some oil lubricate it make sure the edges are properly lubricated okay so drain plug is back in place okay and we got your we have our new filter back in place so it's time to add some oil now now this vehicle takes 5w20 oil that's what we put in there it says right here on the cap too 5w20 place your funnel and add about 4.2 quarts of oil turn on the car make sure there are no leaks in this drain plug area so you know it's good tight there's no oil coming out of here make sure there are no leaks in the oil filter area and this looks like it's all set i don't see any oil dripping out from here so this looks like they both are good lower the car to check your oil level now turn off the vehicle and make sure the oil level with the dipstick the dipstick so clean the dipstick and put it back in there to get the proper read now you want to make sure that your oil is at the full mark so as you can see it has two marks right here okay and it should be on the top dot right there okay right here this is F 
and the dot below is low so it's make sure it's on the top dot so that means it's going to be full if it's on the top dot the top dot so the all looks good it's leveled good so the all cap is tightened up dipstick is back everything looks good so this is how you safely and properly do the oil change on 20 11 kia now this could go for 2010 to 2013 kia if you like the content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the video